All right, let's check your work, see how we did. Number one, draw points on the number line to show 1 sixth and 5 sixths. Then compare the fractions. All right, well, here is 1 sixth. Here is 5 sixths. Which one of those is larger? The one on the right-hand side closest to 1. Right? This is 0. This is 1. They get bigger as we go that way. So 5 sixths is greater. All right, let's look at these. 4 eighths or 3 eighths, which one is larger? I'm going to draw me a number line. This is 1 eighth, 2 eighth, 3 eighth, 4 eighth, 5 eighth, 6 eighth, 7 eighth, 8 eighths. So which one is bigger, 3 or 4? 4, four eighths is larger. How about one fourth or four fourths? Let's try a different model. Is one fourth or four fourths larger? Four fourths is larger. It's greater than. Okay, how about this one? Is one half larger than one half? Well, no. They're equal to each other. They're the same. My picture is the same. Only half of it is shaded. Right? Okay. How about three-sixths and two-sixths? Let's do another number line. This is zero. One-sixth, two-sixths, three-sixths, four-sixths, Five, six, 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 which equals one. So two, six, and three, six. This one is going towards one, so three, six is larger. All right, how'd you do? Did it make sense? I sure hope so. On the next page, you are going to do some problem solving. On this one, you are actually answering a question. For instance, who finished more of his art project on Monday? Or are there more pink roses or red roses? So you have one of the little dashed boxes, the text boxes that you can write in. You need to write out what your answer is on that page. Use your tools. Think through what's going on. Make sure you answer the question. And at the bottom, check your work.